Hello and welcome back. In today's tutorial we are going to explore HTTPS and how to secure our deployed website. When you visit a website with HTTPS, it means that communication between your browser and the website is encrypted. This encryption is crucial for protecting sensitive information like your login details, credit card information and personal data from being intercepted by malicious actors. When you connect to a secure website, your browser requests SSL TLS certificate, this known as handshake process. The certificate contains a public key necessary to begin a secure session. Through this process, both parties establish a secure connection using public key with symmetric encryption key. This ensures that all data transmitted between user and the website is encrypted and secure. So let's start practical part. We're going to use Nginx. Nginx is popular web server software that is known for high performance, scalability and reliability. It handles reverse proxying, load balancing and caching. We're going to start from changing our port in Docker Compose. It's optional, but for my case, uh, my example was using the same port as gonna use for Nginx. So let's go and change it to something else to not overlap. We need to go to Docker Compose file and change external port to something else. Let's use 8000. Let's deploy it. As we have after deployment, let's just push and wait until it deploys. Let's verify. Deployment is started. Let's wait. All right, it's finished. Let's check how it works. So when I refresh, the website shouldn't work. Yeah, so it's okay. And let's check uh, 8000 port. Oh, okay, it doesn't work neither because um, we have closed that port at security level. So let's just open it just for testing. Here we have the security one, the security group. Let's edit, uh, edit inbound rules and just add another port. For everyone. Now, Let's add Okay, it's applied and it works on this port and 80 port will and 80 port is going to use for Nginx. Let's connect to our server and set up Nginx. Install Nginx. Let's start from updating you. Okay, everything is up to date. And then let's just install. Yes. Okay. Then let's start and drinks. Let's check if it works. Let's remove this port and just open the as you can see now we have default page for Nginx. It's kind of placeholder. We can replace it to catch our domain, do as, a, uh, as output whatever we need. Let's go to a pitch arm and uh, let's create our config. So we need to write, I use nano editor, but you can use Vim or whatever you prefer for me. I just get got used to nano. We need to go to 
default path of engine configs and create one for your uh, subdomain. To be recognized by engines by default, it should be uh, in the end of the name should be dot conf. So let's call it uh, exactly how we have the domain Django and dot conf. All right, so we can we should start with server and let's close and then we need to write the port we are going to listen let's start from 80 then we need to write the domain name all right and next one we need to catch location so let's listen everything that and the rules for this location as we have run in our application in docker on port 8000 we just need to proxy everything from here to to that port let's write proxy pass and uh, let's write internal pass let's also pass the header and remote address all right let's remove just extra spaces let's press for me it's command ctrl o to save file and ctrl x to exit now we need to check if our configuration is correct. We just can write we can write sudo and jinx minus t. All right, there are something wrong. Let's open. Okay. I just made mistake here. We need to remove All right, the configuration is okay. Let's restart the Nginx. Just write sudo system system control and restart jets all right no errors uh, let's check in browser let's update and so now as you can see on port 80 we can see our website again so actually it's engine that who is listening for 80 port and uh, under hood it's proxy to our docker compose at port 8000 so we went half of the way and the next step is actually the protecting our uh, website like moving from uh, http to https first of all we need to install set bot for let's encrypt it's free uh, certificate authority let's start from creating virtual environment for uh, for the server bot Right, sudo python3 minus m when op. all right then let's upgrade 
пип, да. Sorry, I just skip install. So it should be pip install upgrade pip. Then let's install install cert bot and cert bot and jinx. Let's create proxy link. All right. Okay, we successfully installed. Then we need just to generate certificate. So let's write sudo bot use nginx and just need to type domain domain we have django django.petrychuk.com let's verify everything is correct press enter we need just to type our email address And agree this terms of service and agree of term of service just type that yes um, it asks okay just press another yes all right the certificate is generated Let's verify it in browser. Let's update. As you can see, now it's secured. There is no uh, message about. And we can see that its connection is secured and certificate is valid. In step certificate generation, it automatically changed config that we created before. Let's just see what, what they changed. Let's go to the path of our config. Ah, forgot now. All right. As you can see, they added four four three. SSL and pass to the certificate that uh, it's created and also it's added a redirect so when you access non-secure connection it automatically redirects to to secured one that's it thank you for watching uh, stay tuned subscribe to the channel see you